Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic and well. So we are back to our scheduled programming. I have my studio space all up and running and all that good stuff. Hopefully my audio is good. My mic was a little bit far, further away for me, but we're back. Um, yeah, so today we're talking about all of the beautiful fragrances that I think are just easy to love. During your fragrance journey, you can become a little bit bored and stray away from those easy to love fragrances and dive into the very complex niche-like fragrances. But I have discovered that my true love when it comes to fragrances are those scents that are just so effortlessly beautiful. That is what I call them. The scents that you don't try too much, you smell and you love them instantly and they're really easy to blind buy. A lot of them here are perfect for spring and summer and ton of them you can pretty much wear them all year round but I think when it comes to fragrances that I love there is this common thing about them all. They have this burst of freshness. Some of them are a little bit more intense in terms of that citrusy tone. Some of them are more in the musky tone but they have this unique quality to them that literally uplifts my mood as soon as I smell them. These are the fragrances that I'm going to be talking about today and I hope you guys enjoy it. We got a lot of them down here so I'm not going to talk too much about every single one of them. If you want to see a dedicated video on any of them please let me know in the comment section. I definitely want to do more individual dedicated video on fragrances instead of just lists of scents. So let me know if you see any that really captures your attention. But I promise you, if you love the fragrances that I do, these are stamped and approved by me. One thing that I did forget to put on is a little setting mist and my face feels kind of tight. So I just... I'm going to spray a little setting mist. I hope you guys don't mind before we talk about fragrances. Um, I love a good do. So, you know, we got to add that do. Anywho, let's talk about these fragrances. I'm going to start off with, is my face still shiny? Ooh, ooh. Girl, this video is all over the place. Okay. There we go. But I just think that this scent is beautiful. It's elegant, it's feminine, it's a little bit sweet, it's so easy to fall in love with it. And this is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This scent is, it's perfection to me, okay? It has white gardenia, there is jasmine, there is pear blossom in here. It's just that beautiful, very feminine, girly scent without it being overly sickening sweet and still has a little bit of uniqueness to it. I cannot get enough of this fragrance. It smells, oh, it smells so beautiful. Every time I put my nose to the scent, I smile. It does have a little bit of this like bubble gummy quality to her, but it's done in the right way. And I think that the bottle is so gorgeous. I really like that they put the notes, the main notes of the fragrance on the bottle. So it's so easy to understand the fragrance. And all in all, I think they did an incredible job. I don't have a ton of Gucci fragrances. This is is one that I say you need in your life for those days that you're feeling kind of girly and really feminine and just beautiful from Burberry and this is Burberry Her Intense. I'll be honest and say that I haven't worn this one in a really long time but when I th went through my entire collection this is a fragrance that's very likable. It's juicy, it's fruity floral and it has a little bit of a similar opening to Baccarat Rouge from Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. He is the perfumer behind this fragrance so it does make a lot of scent, a lot of sense and I just think that this is a really likable, beautiful fragrance that's not hard to wear at all, not hard to understand. Mmm. It's very juicy, fruity. It does have a sweet quality to it too. It smells feminine. It smells a little bit more fun and flirty. It's not super uptight. Um, it's quite casual, honestly, and I just, I just really, really like it. I haven't worn it in a while, but I'm definitely gonna put it in the forefront so I can wear it some more because 
I can see this wearing so beautifully, especially for those warmer days. There's still this nice, fresh, airy quality to this fragrance, even though it is on the sweeter side. And I think it's beautiful. I have tried the original Her, and I think that the intense version is more my cup of tea. You definitely pick up on the fruity aspects of this fragrance, and it just makes it that much more like juicy and feminine. So really beautiful one. Not the most long lasting, I'll be totally honest, but you know, with fragrances like that, you can definitely tweak it and do a few things to make it last a little bit longer. So talking about Mr. MFK, I'm just going to go right ahead and talk about Gentle Fluid fluidity gold. This is another fruity floral. To me, this leans more fruity. Um, I'm talking raspberries type of notes. There is just this juicy freshness to this fragrance. There's sweetness to it too. And it smells very feminine, but very suave. It's not too complex. It's not doing the most. And it really is a beautiful scent. If you do not like Baccarat Rouge 540, if you're tired of smelling it, if you feel like it's played out, try out Gentle Fluidity Gold. I think it's just a stunning fragrance that gets me quite a few compliments. Mm. Next up is a fragrance that I think is just one of those perfect classic summertime scents. It's very, very elegant, super feminine, super confident and just like you know the girl that just like wears a nice little blazer she got jeans on that fit just right her hair is pulled back she has a really nice handbag she's not doing the most but somehow when she walks past you you're like wow she looks good that's this fragrance and that is chanel chance autant this is so beautiful. This is honestly one of those fragrances that is non-complex. It's very linear. Like what you spray in the beginning is what you're going to get throughout the entire wear. But something about it puts a smile on your face and makes you feel really well put together. This is definitely leaning on like the citrusy tone of things. So you kind of have to like those kind of fragrances. But like I say, with every fragrance, try it out. You never know. No, step out of your comfort zone. You might really love it. Mmm, it's that opening for me. It's like a burst of fresh air. There's like these citrusy tones and then you get fresh floral tones and this kind of clean musky vibe in the dry down. It's so beautiful and so elegant and very lavish. Like it smells expensive without it being too much, too heavy, too in your face, but it smells very, very expensive, very elegant. And I just think this is a perfect kind of like everyday fragrance for those warmer days. So the next fragrance is a niche fragrance. And this is my most like kind of crowd pleasing niche fragrance that I have. I feel like everyone would love this scent. It is Honestly, really beautiful. I love it a lot. And this is BDK's Passy Soir. I always say that this fragrance smells like a celebration. It smells like a sweet champagne without it being too like alcohol-like. It's so beautiful and very feminine, very likable. It's quite casual, but you can definitely dress this up. And every time I wear this fragrance, I just feel really well put together. It's so easy to fall in love with this scent, honestly. There are a ton of gorgeous notes in here. In the opening, I believe there's mandarin in here. In the mid, there's some fruit notes. There is jasmine, there's orange blue awesome. There's cashmere on in here and it just makes for a really beautiful kind of juicy fragrance. Really perfect balance between fruity and floral. Um, I think there is pepper in here that gives a little bit of a spice but a very mild spice. I think it just balances out everything and adds a little bit of contrast and all in all this is definitely one of my favorite niche fragrances. Like I can wear this all day, every day, and I would be completely fine with it. And it just smells so gorgeous, very feminine. There's a bit of sweetness in there too. And it's so attractive. This fragrance is really, really attractive. This is another niche fragrance that I really didn't hear many people talking about it. And to be quite honest, before I bought this, I didn't hear anyone talk about it. I went into Saks Fifth Avenue and I sampled a couple of 
fragrances and they suggested I try this one out and I fell in love. I thought it was just the most beautiful, soft, lady-like fragrance, very elegant, very feminine, very like wearable. And this is Pink Halligan's Impressa. The bottle is super cute. I think that it is just gorgeous and timeless and it looks a little vintage also. So I really, really like the bottle, but the fragrance, let me just read off some of these gorgeous notes combined it just creates a very suave fragrance but when you look at the notes you're like wow that's a lot and so the top notes we have blood orange we have peach bergamot orange mandarin pink pepper in the middle we have rose dewberry cassis neroli geranium and in the base notes we have patchouli brown sugar musk sandalwood vanilla cacao labdomen and amber so it is jam-packed with so many notes but they are concoctioned or mixed in the most suave way that makes this scent so light, so airy, and so fluffy. It really is one of those fragrances that is not complex at all. Mmm, I love the opening. Oh, the opening is just fresh and airy. Even though there are quite a few citrusy tones, they're not heavy. They're done in the right way. You will definitely get the mandarin when you open up this fragrance for sure. And then it starts to dry down and you get a little bit of that sugariness. You get a little bit of that vanilla, a touch of that patchouli. And it's so beautiful. Honestly, very light, very fluffy, very airy super likable if you work in an office environment if you work anywhere that you can't wear very heavy fragrances but you still want to smell good this is the perfect scent because it's non-offensive it just smells amazing it smells feminine it smells beautiful it smells very likable very airy very attractive and it's not doing the most so the next fragrance we're going back to the designer fragrances because i I feel like so many designer fragrances are so likable and really easy to fall in love with. This is one that I wore nonstop last year during the summertime. Like I literally almost finished my entire bottle and this is from Giorgio Armani. First of all, the bottle is just to die for. I think that it is so beautiful. It looks gorgeous on my vanity. Um, very simple, but there's something about it that just captures my attention. Maybe it's the lid over here. It's gorgeous. This fragrance is just a sunshine in a bottle to me. Like it's just very mood uplifting, very pleasant to wear. It's soft. It's just everything and I wore so much like you guys can see this I wore so much of it every single day because it's one of those fragrances that really is addictive in the opening there is pear there's mandarin in here ah oh, I, I I don't even know what to say this is a fragrance that doesn't smell like a typical fragrance it's not going to lean floral at all it's not going to be too musky it's not going to be too woody it just smells good and it smells pleasant it really does smell like sunshine in a bottle like to me this is the perfect kind of summertime fragrance it's very light it's not heavy and it just flows with the occasion now probably not an evening wear because it is on the the lighter side but during the day it is just the most beautiful scent you're going to brunch you're going to run errands you're going shopping you are going to work this will work i just i love this one and now I have to mention Mr. Tom Ford. Now he has a lot of gorgeous fragrances that I could suggest, but I think that this one over here is the most easiest to like because it's very light, it's very suave, it's very easy to understand, and it just goes with the vibe. Like it's so beautiful. And this is Suntau Blush. It took me a while to get this in my collection, but when I did, I was like, wow. Mmm, she's so creamy. She is so creamy. Now, on Fragrantica, there are quite a lot of notes in here that I don't pick up a ton of them. Like in the top notes, we have spices, cinnamon, caraway, fenugreek. We have carrot seed. In the middle, we have ylang ylang, jasmine, rose. I pick up those floral tones for sure. And then in the base, we have sandalwood, benzoin, cedar, musk, and oud. 
I don't get a lot of the heavy, heavy notes. I get more of the lighter notes. I get the ylang ylang. I get the sandalwood, more of a creamy sandalwood. I don't get a ton of the spices. Um, the cinnamon pulls through a little bit, but mm, the top notes for me fade away quite quickly and then I get to the mid and the base quite fast. It is a really unique, creamy, woody fragrance that just smells elegant. This to me smells elegant. This to me smells put together. It smells a little bit lavish. Again, it's one of those fragrances that doesn't smell like a traditional fragrance, a floral, a musky. There's something about it that has a little bit more of a unique touch, but that unique touch is so done in a way where it's easy to enjoy. It's not overly complex. And you know with Tom Ford, he likes to push it. He likes to make very uh, obnoxious fragrances, loud fragrances. This one, it's loud, but done in the right way. And I just have to mention that the bottle is one of my favorites. I think that Tom Ford bottles are stunning. And this one that I got with the clear is just, ugh, I love it. Next up, I have Kaoli, and this is Musk. Now, when it comes to Kaoli, a lot of their fragrances are honestly gorgeous and really easy to love. That's why the brand is so popular. But Musk is like, this is a musk scent for all of you girls that are scared of musk scents. This smells so good and so wearable and so fresh and clean and like there's a tiny little bit of sweetness in there that just balances everything off. There's nothing obnoxious or off-putting about this scent. It is like the perfect everyday fragrance. Mmm, it's like soapy clean vibes. Like you just wash your hair with a really good conditioner that has this like mildly sweet tone to it. And this is what it reminds me of. It smells just like clean and fresh and airy and everything's put together. And you could definitely douse yourself in this because it's not super heavy at all. And it just smells so pleasant. This is an easy, easy blind buy 100%. So I have to mention Parfums de Marly, and I want to say that all of the Parfums de Marly fragrances are likable, but they have a little, bit, a little bit more complexity, so it's kind of easy to, you know, think there are a ton of people that might not enjoy it, even though I absolutely love Delina. There are a group of people who don't like Delina because there's complexity in that fragrance, but I want to say that Delina La Rose is the one that is more mild, it's more soft, it's more likable, it's airy, it's fresh, floral kind of fragrance. It still has some spices in there, it still has character but it's a little bit more approachable i find than a lot of the other parfums marley fragrances yes i think a lot of people also love delina exclusive because it's a little bit more mild than the original delina but i think that delina la rose is a safe blind buy it's very fresh and clean and it has the dna of delina but toned down it's absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. This is another one that you can get a sample off of Twisted Lily. So guys, that is it for this video. I'm going to leave it at that. I talked about so many different fragrances. If you guys want a part two, let me know. But I will list all of the fragrances down below in the description box. You guys check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, thank you so much for watching and rocking with me today. And I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!